Your 11 Alive Storm Trackers, tracking the heat and tracking the storms. And you know, today just happened to be the hottest day so far in the year 2020, made it up to 88 degrees. So we have a summer like pattern with the heat and humidity, and that is fueling heat of the day pop up storms. And we are going to see that chance each and every day this week, and a pretty high chance at that. So as we head into Memorial Day, a few clouds out there to start from decaying thunderstorms, what's left of them from uh, Sunday night. So we'll have some clouds to start, some patchy fog in wind protected spots to start. And then during the afternoon, I think we'll have a good dry ish start several hours where we won't see storms, but mid afternoon we're likely to see them popping up. And what we have is a bit of a wedge front here. So along that leading edge of that wedge front, which means cooler air, actually relatively cooler, not really cool air, but relatively cooler air pushing up here against the southern end of the Appalachians. And that's going to enhance some thunderstorm development during the afternoon and evening hours. So probably from about three o'clock until about nine o'clock, much like we had on Sunday, we will see on Monday. And then it's going to continue as we head into Tuesday with more in the way of showers and storms each and every day. So for your Memorial Day cookouts, just be advised. If you're eating lunch outside, you're probably going to be okay, but 20% chance at three o'clock, 30% chance at five o'clock and seven o'clock. Temperatures should end up being a little bit cooler than they were today. Not a lot cooler, just a smidgen cooler than today as we head through the afternoon and evening. So we're looking at a 50% chance on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, we are in that summer time pattern with pop up storms, heat and humidity, and that is going to last at least through next weekend.